Ho 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 guys, Merry Christmas, welcome back to Stardew Valley, it is the 25th of winter, and bundle up folks, it's gonna be cold out there! Oh, I already did that one. The spirits are very happy, why does it have to be on today? Oh, uh, well of course, they're probably always very happy on this day because, well, you know. Uh, yeah, see this is why maybe I didn't want to put those there. Because now, I can't see what's going on down here. Uh. Alright, I'm trying to save, like, my best starred stuff, but there's, like, so many different kinds that it all... It's all, like, one egg taking up ten different spaces here. Yeah, I have an Iridium egg here again. That's not something that's so rare as to justify me setting it aside for whatever, you know, I mean... When we get there, we get there. Or, you know, I mean, if, if we sell it, we just sell it, you know? So, sadly, the cows don't know the difference whether it's Christmas or not, so it's just another day for them. Too bad I could do something for them, you know? But then even if I could do something for them, they wouldn't equate that to the fact that it was Christmas. They would think, oh, it's just a good day, you know? But man, sometimes every day is a good day. Let's put the milk bladder back away while we're thinking of it. We'll definitely have to conjure up some more cheese press things here. Once we get a few more animals in here, but for the time being... I'm gonna run over here real quick and check it out, though, and see what we're at. We are at 34, that is going down pretty fast. So, we got two days left of it, basically, two days worth. So, that'll be one more day of winter, we won't have any hay, we're gonna have to get to Marnie's and buy some more. So, I'm gonna go chop a little hardwood before we get started here. <laughs> because, hey, you know. Honestly, I don't even know if it matters at this point. Like, are there even enough upgrades left in the game for me to spend this on? It's not all just about upgrades, it's the thing though, there's like stuff you can make. Whether it's consumable stuff or just little machines to process, like the oil maker for example. At some point next year, we're gonna have to look into getting one of those because of how useful oil can be. But, you know, it's just another thing that I have to trust my future self to come on. I think I'm going to try taking another break from this, though. At least a break from recording, anyway. Because, like, this is January 12th here. And this video is probably not going to go up until, like, February or something, so... And I know I keep saying that, I don't mean to keep, like, bringing that up, but... It is a thing that's been on my mind. So, like, maybe when I get to the end of year one here, I could just stop for a little bit and get around to all this other stuff that I've been procrastinating. It's just that this game is so freaking addictive. It's like a Skinner box almost, you know? It's like, it trains you to follow its every whim and then you just kind of fall into a routine of it, you know? Ah, uh, look it! Hey! Today is the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Hey Pam, weren't you just standing by the bus stop? <laughs> I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. Damn it! What a beautiful tree! Well, these two don't look like they're. Oh, they actually live together. I always forget that they live together. There's like a bit of, to their story we haven't seen yet, but. Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? I mean, why not? In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as the Star Drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Cool. Hey, good afternoon. How's it going, Marlin? Marlin Huff? Hi, Grayson. Welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Ah, well. I'll probably get another tool set this year. You know what I just realized? This is like the family from There's Something About Mary. <laughs> None of this ever happened to Woogie! Oh no, no, don't even remind- Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't think of that until just now! Oh no. I'm never gonna be able to unsee it. Piping hot feast, man, I tell ya. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Well, they're going to be even more phenomenal thanks to me when next spring starts, let me tell you, boy. Oh, I've had too much nog. 
Uh, I'll give you some dog. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Yeah, well, maybe someday. Oh, all these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Man. Why, well, hello, when Capri Sun is chilly, isn't it? Yep. It's a fine art, Becky Candy Canes. You really gotta search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Gus was telling me about his artisan candy canes. Yawn. <laughs> Emily. What are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Uh, you? Let me see. A new watering can. <laughs> a jug of spiced mead. How about boots? I see. That would be a great gift. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. A feast for some stupid star humbug. Of course. Oh, why aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. Oh, hello. Not a good time of the year for a diet. <laughs> Screw the diet. You can start in January. You know, put it on January. Wow, I can like totally walk around here. Yeah, this kind of came full circle here. I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Oh, dude, you're totally welcome. Whatever, man. I don't see Jazz out here. She is my like secret partner, so maybe they deliberately left her out. So I don't think like normally she'd be, well there's Vincent right there and Sam. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. <laughs> can we open presents now? Aw. Of course you can. Absolutely. Stop with the anticipation. Oh no, she's right there. She's right there. I didn't even see her there. Give Jazz her secret gift. Yeah. It's gonna let me choose, right? Oh, so it's you! Of course it's me, you silly! A plum pudding, thanks! No problem. Oh, I thought, like, oh my gosh. I thought we were, like, paired off, like I was her secret partner and she was mine. But Abigail, oh man. Hi, so I'm your secret gift giver this year. <laughs> Are you now? Well, open it! What do we got? Poppy seed muffin, whoa! You received a poppy seed muffin! Is this like the one in The Force Awakens? It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I can afford. Dude, don't even worry about it! Give me some hugs, man! Oh, you're such a sweetie pie! Alright. Yeah, we did it! Now all the presents are still there, but okay. Well, that was fun, so let's, let me see here. Oh man, Poppy Seed Muffin has a soothing effect. It's great to go with those video games when you're playing together. The first time I ever played this, Abigail was totally my number one crush, in the words of garbage. But in recent times it's kind of changed a little bit and now it's Emily, but Abigail's still really nice. I really like her. And so, Christmas is over. Remember on the Garfield Christmas at the very end of it? When the grandma, she's like, That was a very nice Christmas! It's like, oh, how can you not be depressed when you say that? Because now it's over and you gotta start all the way back up at 365 again. Screw that, you know? Fortunately, there are other things throughout the year to look forward to besides Christmas, such as hard or soft shell, baby. All right, how many fish have we got here? Like, this is nowhere near enough for all the land we're going to be plotting here. We'll have to settle for regular fertilizer, I would bet. Well, how many do we actually have here? I mean, it looks like about 30, so maybe a little more than that. So that's something. We could put our best crops on those 30 squares if we happen to pick up some more in the meantime, somewhere, somehow. We can always do that. And we can always still use regular fertilizer, too. Speaking of which, how do we look on that? Well, isn't that in here as well? We have... Oh, we already have 26 quality fertilizer here. I didn't realize I was just sitting on this, but okay. Yeah, we're not going to have enough sprinklers to cover all that, so it might actually be worth it to upgrade the watering can. 
Yep, I think it will be. Well, I mean, are we deciding that now, or are we just going to bed? I mean, there's nothing else to do. I might as well go to bed. I'll grab these while I'm here. It's coconut jelly and cactus fruit jelly. I mean, the coconuts and cactus fruits alone already sell for pretty good. So it'll be interesting to see what those sell for. Otherwise, I think we're pretty much done here. I don't really have any more wheat to put in these. I don't think I do, anyway. But whatever. We've had a pretty successful winter here. These last three days are just going to be lazy days. Because, you know, if you wanted to, you know what you could do? Is you could just crawl back into bed, and it'll just go to the next day. So if I wanted to go to the first of spring right now, I could just do that. Like, if I was done with winter and I just didn't want to do it anymore. And the crazy thing about that is time would still pass for these and these while I was sleeping. And I mentioned it before, but it actually passes almost twice as fast for them when you're sleeping. So that is worth noting. So I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon dig in. Omelette? Hey, hell yeah, man. I will take that action. Man, I got... I'm gonna have to get a something. Wait, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? I mean, I guess I could. But first, let me charm the chickens here. I actually wonder, though. Because since quality doesn't matter, when you're making, like, mayonnaise and stuff, I wonder if it would be better to just sell an iridium quality egg than to make it into mayonnaise. That's another way we could experiment. Look at this void mayonnaise. Holy crap, dude. A thick black paste that smells like burnt hair. Ew! That's gross, dude. That's completely out of my world. Burnt hair stinks, let me tell you. I can still smell it even now, even though I probably haven't smelled that in like 15 years. Alright, spirits feel neutral. Back to neutral. That was a nice Christmas, but now we're neutral again. But look, folks, it's gonna snow tomorrow. Yes, it is. It's snowing quite a bit here lately. Alrighty then. Well, oh, grab your fish, grab your fish. Get as much of this as you can here. Uh, you know, it's actually smarter, as like I was saying earlier. Just take the bait out and put the bait in as you, you know, collect your stuff. So that you don't, like, accidentally, you know, click and pick up the pot instead of when you don't want to, when you don't mean to. Oh, actually, we should put this in here. Okay, and how does the situation look for... Hmm, we got some gold ore here. We got iridium, too. I mean, we might as well. But we're, like, smelting it as it comes in here. It's, like, that crazy now. Oh, wow. Huh. I thought I was going to run out of furnaces and I have to switch over to the iridium, but it looks like. Okay. Well then, yeah, like I said, lazy days, huh? I mean, you might as well go to the mines to get more ore. Regardless of what the spirits say. Did I do the cows? I don't think I did the cows. Even if you don't do them, at least you know they're still getting fed, though. Whoa. No, I totally didn't do them, did I? Let's get the... Uh, you know, I need to really start learning to use my mouse wheel more when I'm doing stuff like this. There we go. It's just using it in the heat of the moment like that, like mouse wheel and then click and then mouse wheel and then click. I don't know if there is a comfortable way to really do that. Okay, I think we got everything we need here. Or everything we want. That's sure how we're going to end up. And if we have any time left over, we'll just hoe for the rest of it. That's pretty much the plan going into this here. I'd really like to see either batteries or apples here. It's like my two top items that I hope I see. But, I'm not going to get my hopes up too much here. It's fall seeds, planted summer there. He has a chanterelle in here. Got some fish. Or she, whoa, oh, hello. I've never seen one of those before. Okay, so apparently you can catch it in the desert, I mean, which is not surprising really there. I've just never seen one before. So there's really no reason to get it other than for if you're a collector. Yeah, nothing else much here. Alright. It was worth a look. It's always worth a look. 
Yes, I'm glad we did that. So now we're just gonna cut over here to Marnie's and just sneak into town from the back side. And we're just gonna slowly work our way across town here. I never go- can I go into Leah's house? I've like never been in here. Oh my god. Okay, cutscene time. Howdy. I always liked Leah a lot too. I don't know what's something about her. I don't know, but I like green on girls. <laughs> oh hi, Capri Sun. Come in, come in. I'm just working on this sculpture here. It looks like a giant tentacle. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll... Oh, jeez, um... You want you want your face where this hammer's going? See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. Oh my god, may I have a kiss? What? You, you don't just do that? I'm, I'm halfway tempted. Ugh. I actually- oh my god. No, it's the same with people. I'm a chicken, I know. Oh yeah, that's absolutely right! I know. I'm so deep. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. But I'm sweaty. Although I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. <laughs> well, start a Patreon. Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? Um... Try the internet. Well, I guess that's an idea, but I need a computer first. Uh, I'll hook you up with Sebastian, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. And again, that's expensive. Well, it was nice of you to visit. Yeah, it was nice of you to have me. Wow, how about that? Let me try something here. Okay, alright. Oh, oh, new profile pic. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me, I don't want to hear from you anymore. What the hell was that? <laughs> wow. All these new pictures I've never seen before. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. Here, have a hug. That was my ex. Oh! I thought Kel was short for Kelly. Unless, of course... You know. I ain't judging. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. You don't have to tell me shit! You don't owe me that. But... I guess since I'm here. We had an apartment together back in the city. I, I can't believe I've never seen any of these with Leah before. I didn't realize it was as simple as just going into her house, but where else were you gonna see him, I guess, right? I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. He was always nagging me to go back to school or study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of crap. You all that hop of the PTA! Ugh. I wasn't ready for that kind of life. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Was that selfish of me? No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but you would have been better off staying in the city? Yeah, a little. Yeah, but it's natural to care about yourself first. Holy shit, dude. Your ex sounds like an idiot. Well, that, that almost sounds like too... You know, because, I mean... I'm not like an expert at talking to girls or anything. But I also know that they can tell sometimes when you're trying too hard to take their side. You know, and this sounds like I'd be doing that a little bit. But... I don't know if any of the other answers are really any better. Cause maybe it's not bad to be selfish. I don't know. I, I kind of almost maybe want to pick this one. The thing is, like, you know, once again, it depends on how you word things. You say it's, it's natural to care about yourself first. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go with the that. That's a little harsh, but yeah, we had different priorities. 
So I've been saving up money to buy a computer. You know, so I can try and sell my art online like you suggested. Ah, uh, I'll give you some. It's good to have a friend looking out for you. Okay, how much more of this do we have? Like, hello. Hi. Time seems to move slower here. I didn't bring you anything. After all that time we just spent together. Oh lordy. Alright. Oh, you know what? I needed to buy hay anyway, so well, this is perfect. How's it going, Marn Marn? Got yourself a yarn yarn here? There you go. I don't even know what I was saying there just now. I'll see all these animals we can- I'm gonna- Oh my god, 16,000? For a pig? I'm getting one. Choose a barn for your new pig. Oh, but who am I gonna name the pig? How can I name a pig without it being insulting to the person I name it after? So screw it. Actually, Ganondorf, even better. Great, I'll send little Ganondorf to her new home right away. Okay, that's all I'm gonna get, though, for now. Well, should I? Oh, no, I came here to get hay. Let me double check this, though, and see what other... These are really expensive. Well, I guess if I'm buying hay, that does kind of make, it, like, make the situation a little bit irrelevant. I'll get a goat. <laughs> so cute. Here, let's let Fodden Heights be the goat. Wow, the name actually fits. I don't believe it. Great, I'll send little Fahrenheits to her new home right away. Okay, now, finally, supply shop, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, I'm watching that money go down. What's... Uh, seeds aren't that expensive, right? We'll go to 70. You gotta be careful with this, though. Oh, you can sell eggs here? Wow. Oh, I brought those for Alex, though, so maybe I won't. Alright, well, because I still don't have anything that Alex loves. Caroline, though, man, she's like the hardest one in the entire game to please, seemingly. Ah, right, Sam, how you doing, buddy? Got you another cactus fruit here. Should try bring you cactus jelly sometime. We didn't bring that other plum pudding with me, though. Jody's not home. They might be up there working out. Uh, there's a certain day that they do that, like a certain day of the week. And I don't offhand remember what it is. I kind of want to say that it's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God, she's possessed. Just look at that! Oh, I just can't get this jar open! Oh, well, yeah. Wow, this music, though. Oh, it's you in Capri Sun, right? Uh, yeah, that's my name. Say, so you're pretty strong, aren't you? Yeah. Great, then you shouldn't have any problem opening this jar for me. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Thank God. Hey, you did it! You're stronger than you look! Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks! Oh my god, they totally... Man, they just totally... That's all... I don't even need to say any more than that. They just totally... Jade for you, because that's easy. And, uh... <laughs> how terrible of me to say, really. And third boob for you, because that's easy. I think I might try walking back into this house and just to see. No. Nope. Man, I really want that cutscene with Emily. I'm gonna watch that on YouTube. Future self, when you're editing this, stop what you're doing and just go watch that right now. Because it's awesome. Alright, what path are we gonna take here? Should we stop over here by Evelyn's? And, or, well, this is the mayor, actually. And he's not home. Why would he be? He's got a big job, you know? Oh. Oh, shoot, Gus wanted something. What was that he wanted? Oh, fish stew, but he needs albacore. Well, there's no time limit on that. Well, actually, there is, though. Didn't he say they were almost out of season? George, you doing okay, man? My grandpa was a farmer. It's a respectable profession. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. Evelyn, what's going on with you? George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. Well, uh, 
I guess that's just what old people do. Oh, here he comes to watch some more. Hey, honey, is the price is right on yet? Darn, okay. Abigail, here I come for you. Did I not bring an amethyst? Are you serious right now? Chocolate cake. Oh, she likes the chocolate cake, too. Huh. Okay, I was just actually looking over other stuff that Abigail likes, because I've given her nothing but amethyst this whole playthrough. You can also give her, um, pumpkins. And she likes spicy eels. Those are all on her love list, too. Uh, I already got you. And what was the other thing? Pufferfish, for some strange reason, is also on her love list. Looking for someone to bring me 40 copper ores to see if any rare gems are hidden inside. Uh, well, maybe, buddy. Maybe. This is already closed, okay. I really love this, how'd you know? Here, wait, let me see if, um... I wonder if there's any cutscenes to see here by now yet. No, not yet. Oh, wow, you two are just randomly showing up, violently walking down here. Oh my god, everybody's coming down here. It's like they saw that I was here, and they were like, hey, wait, let's join him. Spaghetti. Who's gonna start walking first here? Oh, they're waiting for me to get out of the way is what they're doing. Alright, Robin, can I... Uh, no, actually. Wait a minute, I didn't mean to give that to you. Didn't I just give you an egg? You let me... Can you give people twice in one day? I didn't mean... Ugh. I can't be right. Something's messed up about that. Anyway, Demetrius. Ice cream, go. Wait a minute. I think I might have hit upon a glitch or something here. That's, there's, there's people everywhere here. What is going on? What has happened to Stardew Valley? You're such a sweetheart. I really love this. Yes, I know. And Shane, I got you the beer. They're all headed for the saloon is what they be doing. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. I have this. Maybe I accidentally actually clicked on Robin when I meant to click on Demetrius. But it's weird because I didn't think she would react that way to ice cream. That was the part that was freaking me out. Was that I was worried that I gave them the wrong gift, but they were reacting like they loved it, so... <laughs> I don't know. She beats the hell out of me. How's it going, Maru? You know, I sure don't have much for you. I got... I could give you a diamond, I guess. Oh, I've already given her a gift. Okay. Oh, you know what? It actually does work. It gives it to him anyway, because I just had two. Now I have one. So I guess it just pops up and says the wrong thing. Uh, well then there's nobody else up here besides Linus. Yeah, if you don't have battery packs to give her, you can always give her strawberry, if you have leftovers of those. Or gold bars, that works too. I believe cauliflower as well? Or was that... Oh, there's ancient doll again. And what do we got here? Oh, there goes a bird over there. Where's he going? Guess we'll never know. Linus, you home? Hey, you are. There you go. Well, I think that about settles it. We're pretty close to I mean, we're right here at it. I guess we should just go ahead and get started here then. See how much of this we can get done. If I do this quickly enough, like, you know, just get the main parts of the land and don't worry about all the edges, then I'll have time to swing by the saloon on the way back and see if, you know, catch anybody that I missed. Well, I got Shane, and I got Sam. I didn't get Pam. Whoa, is that my stomach trying to growl over here? Man. Okay, well, that was fairly uneventful. We got some stuff, though. Once again, even just a little bit helps. Let's just grab Robin's yard here real quick. We can still get there by 10. You accidentally swing in there. Just I'm swinging my wood tool around in front of Robin's house. Big surprise. All I've done for this entire playthrough, just about. I mean, don't get me wrong, Robin's it's total cutie. But I'm not about that messing with married people. You just don't. You just, there's just some lines you don't cross, you know what I mean? Got that Australian thing going on. Did I ever give Leah a gift? I don't think I did, because I could go ahead and grab this now. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, rather. 
Man, I wish I had more. Do I still have this Autumn's Bounty? Yes, I do. Here, here, here. No. Here, let's wait till he gets outside. So we don't accidentally give it to the wrong person here. Wow, this is my favorite. Thank you. Hell, I wasn't gonna eat it. What do I want with some stinking defense bonus anyway? Yeah, I, I this is, we're done here. We are done with this day. Almost. So one more stop we gotta make. Or two. Or one. It's Friday. Hey, hang on. If it's Friday, that means he's selling it a rid- Oh, but I don't have 10G! I could probably sell something to him and get it, but... But do I really want to put myself down to zero gold just for one Iridium Sprinkler? I don't think it's worth it. Sure, we got some pretty heavy money-making things going on here, but... It doesn't mean... So, well, you know what? Here, wait, 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 let me look. Ah, today was Clint's birthday! And he was right there, and I had an Aquamarine on me! Well, man, oh man, that's the closest I've ever been, and just straight up failed, but you know what? Oh well. Let's grab these and put them in. Just because. It might be smarter not to put them in, because then I'm tempted, you know, to to sell them. I'm just gonna sell everything I can see here, except for the rabbit's foot. Oh, pizza I never gave away. 70... Quartz I never... Uh, let's just go ahead and put all this in. I don't care. Even that. I'm curious how many of these sell for. I'll just throw one in to see. The hay we'll need to put into the thing later, but... Oh shit. Shit, it's 150. It's that magic number, man. Can we get inside the house? Okay. Alright, we're fine. I know. Man, I feel so bad for my character. I've been treating him like crap this winter. I've not been getting him to bed on time. Yeah, that's a pretty decent haul, thanks mostly, though, to the gold bars. Those freaking gold bars, man. You gotta love them. Winter Root and Snow Yam coming through as usual. It's nothing to sneeze at. 